One Saturday morning, a young boy went to his rich mentor and asked him, Mentor, how can I be as rich as you are when I grow up? His mentor smiled and said to him, Figure out how to work 1,000 hours every day and you'll be as rich as you want. The boy was confused and asked for an explanation. Mentor, we only have 24 hours in a day. How on earth can anyone work a thousand hours within 24 hours? His mentor looked at him and said, Well, the only reason why anyone is poor is that they don't know how to solve this puzzle. If you figure out how to solve it, you have more money than you can ever spend. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you one important skill every rich person knows is the most important to create wealth. If you are new here, consider subscribing so you won't miss other interesting videos like this. Now here's the thing, you can be rich as a tall or a short man, you can be rich as a man or a woman, you can be rich as a white or a black human, you can be rich whether you were born by a rich person or by the poorest person in the world. Nothing in the world unites the rich except for one thing, their ability to get and use what they don't have. Poor people often think in terms of what they have and whatever they don't have, they believe they cannot use. The rich often think in terms of what they need, even if they don't have it, they figure out how to get it from people who have it. Though everyone thinks that they have only 24 hours in a day, the rich figure out how to get 1000 hours in their days. If you can work 1000 hours every day, then you can make more money than you ever need, right? Yes, you agree with that. What may not make sense to most people at this point is that, well, we only have 24 hours in a day and we need to sleep, rest, eat and do other stuff. The hardest workers among us only have 12 to 18 hours to work, so how on earth can anyone work a thousand hours? Well, use what you don't have. The one skill every rich person has in common is that they all know how to use what they don't have. Poor people usually think, I don't have that, I don't have this and I don't have such. The rich often think, how can I get that? Poor people would naturally think that whatever they don't have cannot be used. The rich naturally think that they can get whatever they need whether they have it or not. This is a big difference. Take for an example. We all have 18 hours in the day to be alive. Most poor people believe that the best that they can do is to work very hard within this 18 hours. While the rich ask themselves, how can I get a thousand hours in a day? How can I get the hours I don't have? How can I use the hours that is not mine? The little change in mindset may be the difference between a guy who earns $30,000 a year and a guy who earns $3 million a year. By the time you start thinking, how can I get the hours I don't have? Then you'll start thinking, how can I get one person to do for me what I'm doing right now? How can I get 10 people to do for me what I ought to do alone? How can I get 20 people to do for me in one week what I alone cannot do in one year? More than anything in the world, your ability to use what you don't have is the single most important skill to build wealth. My personal story Around November 2008, I was with my older brother. He's an accountant and that's what he wanted me to be but I had a better idea of what I wanted to do with my life. I told my brother that I wanted to be an entrepreneur and his major question was, how would you get money to start a business? My brother is living with a poor mindset so he believes that since we were born by poor parents, there is no way we could start a business since we didn't have money. I saw it from a different perspective. My brother thinks that you can only use what you have. To me, I thought I don't necessarily have to have something before I could use it. I knew that I would need money to start a business and I knew that I didn't have much money but I believed that I could figure out how to use whatever I need by getting it legitimately from the people who have it. That was what gave me the courage to go into the business world. Yeah, I was met with a whole lot of rejections and failures. Yes, it took me time before I learned and mastered how to really get what I don't have from the people who have them. 
but I eventually built a successful business even though I had no money when I was starting out. Again, let me remind you this. Poor people complain that they don't have that and that they don't have this. The rich look for ways to get whatever they need even if they don't have it. Your ability to get what you need even if you don't have it is the single most important skill to build wealth. A thousand hours per day Sometimes ago when I was writing one of my books, I made a simple study about people who have been very rich in history. Think about this. The few people who were rich in the Bible are Abraham, Jacob, Isaac, Esau and Job. You know one thing that united these people? Well, they all worked a thousand hours every day. How did they do that? They used the hours they never had. The Bible records that Abraham had 310 servants, Esau had 400 servants, Jacob, Isaac and Job all had hundreds of servants. Take for instance, Abraham who had more than 300 servants. If each of Abraham's servants worked 8 hours every day, that is 2400 hours per day that Abraham indirectly worked. Can anyone work 2400 hours per day and still be poor? Look at our present world. Who are the richest people and how many hours do they work? Jeff Bezos owns Amazon with 647,500 employees as at 2018. Bill Gates started Microsoft which has 134,944 as at 2018. Jack Ma owns Alibaba with 101,958 employees as at 2018. Apple has 132,000 employees as at 2018. Look at the above figures and tell me what you see. Well, very simple. Many of these guys work as much as 1 million hours every day. How can you work a million hours every day and not be rich? Don't limit yourself. If there is any single thing I wish to achieve with this video, it's that I want to challenge you to stop limiting yourself. The universe is under your feet. Everything you can see right around you belongs to you. You are unlimited. You can use anything you need. You don't have to have anything before you can use them. Stop complaining, I don't have money to start a business. You don't need to have money before you can start a business. All you need to do is to learn how to get the money you need to start a business from the people who have it. It's not easy but you can do it. Start thinking how can I get what I need instead of saying I don't have what I need. Learn how to negotiate with people. Learn how to strike deals. Learn how to get people to give you what you want. Learn how to convince people to make them support you with their resources. Learn how to be persuasive. Don't believe that the world is dark and everyone is evil. Yes, everyone is selfish and that's an advantage. It's an advantage because if you can show people how your dream will reward them, they will sacrifice what they have for you. Stop believing the bullshit that human beings can only work 12 hours a day. Figure out how to work a thousand hours. Think, think, think. Who can you employ? Who can you partner with? How much is your one hour worth? If your one hour is worth $50, then you should not be doing for an hour what someone else could do for you with $20. You can multiply yourself and in fact, you should multiply yourself because that's the only way to become rich. Don't ever forget this. Poor people always say, I don't have money, I don't have resources, I don't have time. Rich people always think, how can I use what I don't have? How can I get someone to support me? How can I partner with someone? How can I employ someone to do this? Learn how to use what you don't have and you'll be as rich as you ever wanted. Thank you very much for watching our videos. We'd like to give you another interesting video for you to enjoy next. But before then, our team will be very happy if you can like this video and share it with your friends on social media. Now if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss other interesting videos like this. Look at your screen now to see two other videos we handpicked for you to enjoy next. We love you.